Have you ever been called something, like, as a child, grew up, and, like, actually believed it? Hey there, my fellow human beings. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I have some wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, if you're new, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for visiting my channel. So... We have hot wings, lemon pepper, with some habanero sauce that spilled all over on my trip home. Yeah, it's really spicy, this sauce. So let's dig in some ranch. Juicy. What do you guys prefer? Flat or whatever this is called, legs. My favorite is the flat. The flats. Favorite. It's like easier to get to. Yeah. And more juicier. These are always like stale, hard, I like the flats. So do any of you ever think like you're weird for just sitting there or walking or whatever you're doing right now? You think you're weird for watching someone else eat? <laughs> do you? Because I've been there and I'm one of those people that love watching mukbangs. And now I'm one of them. It's got ranch all over it. Rain is staring at me. Rain is the pup. Look how big this one is. I love it when it's crispy. Rain's right over here. So yeah, I got these wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Because it's a Tuesday. And they do the, um... Like, buy one, get one free. Which is awesome. I'm glad that they brought that back. Because they took it away for a long time. Then they were losing out on business, so they brought it back. The only thing that kind of sucks is you have to dine in only in order to get the special. Other than that, $30 for almost 50 wings, yes please. humans on this planet earth I have a question have you ever been called something like as a child grew up and like actually believed it and not by one or many not just by one person but by many people 
because they didn't understand who you were. I'm just curious. I'm like learning myself. And I've always been told that I'm cold or mean or selfish, which may come off as true, like if I don't really know you, or also judgy. Um, but I, those things are not true. The only times that I feel like they're true is when someone asks me for opinion. And I give it to them, and it's not what they want to hear, which I will start to work on. I think from now on, I'm just going to tell people what they want to hear. Because, you know, people are going to do what they want to do, and whether you like it or not, like, it, it has nothing to do with you, you know? They're just asking you for approval on certain situations, you know? They want to get... They want to take your advice because they know what they're doing, you know, may not be right to others <sighs> or other people may not agree, but they just, you know, we just want to hear what we want to do. And we're just going to make our own um, choices. But how many times have you asked for advice and you went your own way? You know? Anyway, so... I've been called those things... Growing up by many people. And... I've just come to like... Realizing that it's not true. I am not those things that people... Told me I was actually a really caring and loving and um, I'm a deep person mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to do like the small talk because if I don't find meaning in like conversation or if I don't know you then obviously I'm like come off as an introvert but we can't all be the same can we and I'd rather not be the same as you or your friend or anyone I know I like me there's no other person like me and there's no other person like you there's not yeah sometimes I want to be the person that they call me or used to call me or you know what I mean with those bad intentions just so I don't know I mean I'm calling it to you anyway but it just hurts sometimes Sorry for the depressing video today. <laughs> hmm. These wings are good. Alright. I'm gonna try to dip it in this habanero sauce. There's the wing. There's the habanero sauce. That's a lot, guys. If only you can smell it. Dip this in some ranch. <sighs> And for those of you that don't know, I suffer from, like, constipation. <laughs> Sorry, you're probably eating, but your girl be constipated. And it was such a bad choice eating these spicy garlic and this habanero, but it's so good. 
So I'm going to pack up on the Preparation H. And I already took some Petmo Bismo before I ate. That way it's ready. That was a lot, and it spilled like in this corner. So there's other wings that are like smothered in it. Ugh. Have some water in here. <coughs> I've gone mad. <coughs> My tongue is turning pink. So you just like soak your tongue in water when it's like I have chicken like stuck in my brackets back there. You guys Tip of my tongue. Look how ratchet my nails look. I meant to take the color off. Forgot to check if I had nail polish remover. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, back to that question of did you guys, you know, grow up believing that you're this instead of that or blah, blah, blah. If I ever made any of you feel uncomfortable, I am sorry. If I was mean, I'm sorry. I am. I hate it when I see people do this or this or that. It's gross. <laughs> or like when someone sneezes in the car and you have the windows up. If they sneeze, if they burp, if they yawn, if they fart, like yeah, I definitely roll those windows down. Sometimes people get offended, but like. That's disgusting. You're trapping the germs and the spit and all that. Like, mm -mm, no thanks. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. This is disgusting. I hate it. And if I'm not able to for some reason, I'm like, no breathing. Like it does anything. I have so many wounds over here, and I'm like already full. I can't hang no more, guys. I'm getting old. I used to be able to eat so much. Is that rain? I just can't anymore. Do you guys love my shirt? It says love. And then it has like the definition on the back. Found it in Ross. I love it. I love the color too. But yeah. 
You don't have to be what the people told you you were, you know? You don't have to. Every day is a new day. Every day you're able to become a new person. Fix a mistake. Or fix a relationship. Sometimes the other people are not ready. You know? Now I'm speaking in general, like any type of relationship. Romantic, intimate, um, siblings, family, friendship, you know? In general. never too late you see my thing is it takes one thing for me to I hate to say it this way but to cut someone off one thing yeah and I am a forgiving person I'll approach you about a situation, even though it's so freaking hard, and um, talk about it. That way I know that I try to make amends, so that if it happens again, it's done because I tried, you know? Are you the same way? It's so hard. You know, you gotta like swallow that pride. You really do. You have to swallow the pride. But after that, That is I, guys. That is I. I wouldn't say it's holding a grudge. Mm -mm. I'd say it's protecting yourself from the common mistakes that other people make and, you know, put you through. And sometimes it's even you, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I know it's my fault. Like, I don't know how to... No. I react when I'm offended. And so I don't know how to, like, take it back a notch. Like, it just... Bloop! But I've worked on that, so it's not that bad. Life. It's a learning process. Still trying to figure out what the hell. You know? Sauce is no joke. So I've been working on my poems, but I don't share them because I just feel like they're so personal, which makes me feel uncomfortable. You guys ever feel that way? Like you're expressing yourself? But it's so deep. And you're like scared to share it. Because I've always enjoyed writing. That's another reason why sometimes I don't want to write or read you guys my poems because I always feel like I'm unintelligent. And I know you gotta start from somewhere, but. 
just feel like they're lame. But not really, because sometimes I'm like, damn, girl, that's powerful. And that's why I'm scared. But I know there's other people in the world that feel the way I do. So that's the only reason I would share it. Like I'm, you know, talking about today and today's subject, which is, is, which is, did you grow up believing you were something you were not? Because I did. And I think maybe that's why I'm like shy to myself. The world may never know. But new days, new change, guys. New days, new change. Mm. I'm full. I feel like a fatty right now because I'm full. I'm just eating and talking. Alright, guys. I am done. Look how messy my hands are. <laughs> And ratchet my nails look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've always been a messy eater. And you guys just see me eating fries. Oh my goodness. Alright, so it's been nice talking to you guys. Um, go ahead and let me know, you know, answer some questions or ask some questions or give me your opinions about today's topic. Alright? Thanks for joining me on eating my dinner. My wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. They were delicious. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Go ahead um, and like, subscribe, share. I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Give your girl some credit. Okay? Gracias. Until next time, my people. Peace and love. Peace and love.